So if we hop on the tractor here, then I'll allow you the opportunity to uh, see what we're doing. So now what I have to do here is kind of unfold this rascal. I'm going to rotate. So we go from the transport position, which allows us to safely drive between in a single lane, believe it or not, to a position that is 40 feet wide that takes up an entire highway from shoulder to shoulder. Safety hitches are off, down she comes. Then in just a second, I will do a hydraulic, what they call the wing unlock. There, you can see, it's released the two wings, so now the wings will float. Raise her back up. She's in field, ready to go mode, almost. I have this length. I'm going to shorten the planter up so that I don't have to go anywhere, but nice, comfortable turns. Hear that little beep? It's telling me that I'm right on the white line where I need to be. So here we are in the little green box right here. The pink line is the boundary line. It's telling me at the edge of the field is the pink line. The yellow lines you see are actually the outlines of the waterways. So it will shut off once it gets outside the pink line or as it goes through the yellow lines. So I don't drop seed at any place other than in the field. It's saving me seed, not planting it in the waterways nor outside of the field. It recognizes where I've been. So I have my air delivery pressure, which is good. My vacuum pressure needs to go up. So as soon as I put the planter back down and the system starts to turn, the air will draw the seed to the holes in the plates and my vacuum pressure will come up. And the blue lines will come up if I'm seeding properly. So there we go. The green line across is my target. So anything above or below that is a percentage above or below. But as you can see, the residue we have out here in front of us, the rye, which is which is being recycled back down into the ground, and we're going to plant right into this residue. Now it's going to come up to this area where I ran out of seed the other day on this blue mark, mm -hmm. and it's going to shut the planter off because it knows I've already been here and done that. So you'll hear it go beep beep. And then there's a little section that's going to go back on where I stopped and hesitate. Now it's off, so it's. It says you have got this line all the way to this end row, which is coming up. I'll get up here and I'll turn around and come back. That's neat. I didn't realize all the technology. So turning this big boy around sometimes in a timely fashion so he will find that white line. So I'm circling them around. And then I can push it and it'll find it for me. So that when I chirp, that's, he's found it, he's locked on. I need to drop it down and then it will wait until the back of that great green box gets up to the blue. It'll turn my planter back on. There you go. So the planter's back on. So if nobody's here with me, I put it at six mile an hour and I don't change anything. I just back and forth. I don't slow down. I don't, it's just go, go, go. So I hope this doesn't ruin your thought of driving, which means you're going to sit here and push that button. No. <laughs> So it's coming up on this waterway, so it'll see how the angle is not square, so it'll just turn off a couple rows. Otherwise, I'd be putting seed all the way up through there. It's kind of amazing watching it work as yeah. it comes on and off. You're saving money by not planting seeds where you don't need yeah. them. That's, that's the biggest money saver of the technology part of it. A waterway, in my book, is a lot like your, your yard, you know, like treasure. That opportunity to make it better. Yeah. It's a place for wildlife. It's a place for the water to migrate to, and it prevents that heavy rains. It prevents soil erosion. There you go. You're farming. <laughs> there you go, Jeff. You're in the driver's seat, my man.